But why did you date her in the first place if you didn't like her? It was a dare. My friends told me to do it. Like and subscribe in the next five seconds, or this will be in your bedroom window tonight. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your Bonus TV here. In today's video, it's gonna be kind of a sad one. So if you guys are prone to crying pretty easily, then this isn't the video for you. In this video, we had the pleasure of taking a look a little deeper into this girl's life. Luckily, she felt pretty comfortable with us to share the story. I ended up confronting the guy that cheated on her in this video as well. That guy is so toxic, and if you're watching at home, just remember that people actually have feelings. Alright guys, so this all started when she hit me up and she said, hey Boneless, I'm sad, I need somebody to talk to. By the way guys, if you ever need anyone to talk to, always feel free to just reach out to me on Discord, Instagram, or Twitter, and if I see it, I will reply. Even if it seems like I don't reply to a lot of you guys, I promise I actually do. There's just so many of you that it's kind of hard to get around to it sometimes. So I say, hey, what's up, are you okay? And she said, I feel like I'm not good enough. So I say, don't ever feel like that, and if you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. You know, I'm really just trying to be supportive to this girl. Clearly something is going on in her life and she just needs someone to talk to. So she says, nobody ever actually cares about me, they just pretend to. Which guys, if you're ever feeling like her, just know that people actually care, all right? Even if it feels like no one does, I'm telling you right now, there's someone in your life that actually cares. So I say, don't say that, I care, what's going on? And she says, everything in my life is going wrong right now. My parents hate my guts, I lost my boyfriend, people suck. So I say, why do you think your parents hate you? That's not true, I'm sure they love you. Cause everybody's parents should love them. And sometimes when you're younger, it kind of feels like your parents hate you cause they tell you to do the chores and stuff and you don't like doing it. And when you don't listen, they start yelling at you. So you just kind of like think they hate you, but really they don't. I mean, they're your parents after all. And that's when she said, then why do they yell at me every day for being different? Then how come they told me they wanted a boy? Then how come every time I talk, they look at me and ignore me? Telling your daughter that you wanted a boy Boy, like that should never ever come up in a conversation so if her parents said that to her then her parents are just super toxic so I say I don't know why they do any of that to be honest it sounds like your parents are toxic I'm sorry you have to deal with that but I know they 100% love you you're their daughter after all and then I said how old are you and she said, I don't know, crying emoji, I don't think they ever loved me, and I'm 14. That's when I said, you're way too young to feel like this, cheer up, do you have a mic, maybe we can hop on a call or something and talk? And she said, I can't talk right now, can we just text, I'm literally crying. So I said, yeah, sure, that works. And she says, but to top that off, not only do my parents hate me, everybody at school does as well, everybody calls me long nose Nelly, which is super toxic. So I say, I'm sorry, that's really toxic, don't listen to them they're just haters just work hard at your dreams and show them up in a couple of years and then we'll see how they like you when you're rich and famous so i'll just hit her with some quick motivation because she clearly really needs it right now I tried cheering her up and she said haha i wish i don't think i'll ever be famous which you guys don't know that you know like you guys watching at home right now could be the next biggest youtuber in the world so don't ever have low expectations for your life i feel like if you tell yourself that you're never going to be famous then you're never going to be famous but if you work hard at your content and follow your dreams you never know what's gonna happen so i said you don't know that and she just said my nose is too big and my arms are too long for my body and i can't even dance i'll never be big on tiktok i tried out for the talent show and the whole audience laughed at me and said i was dancing like a jellyfish and they called me long nose jelly for two weeks straight and i said i'm sorry to hear that then she said, I skipped school so I wouldn't get harassed. I cried every night and nobody seemed to care. I just wish I had a true friend. Everybody hates me and I'm all alone. And I said, I don't hate you and I wish I could stand up for you. It's not fair that we have to deal with this and I'm so sorry that it's happening. She said, it doesn't matter. I used to have a boyfriend, but he cheated on me with my rival. And I said, what? What happened? She said, okay, do you want the full story? So I said, yeah. And at this point, guys, I just feel really bad for her. I just wish there was something I could do. I don't think it's fair that people were making fun of this girl she seems like a really good girl and i just wish things were different and she said okay so i started dating this tiktok e-boy like four months ago and i loved him so much every day he would hold my hand and tell me he loved me and i talked to him when i was sad and he cheered me up and she said so basically there's this girl that's picked on me since elementary school which happens to also be one of the coolest girls in school and one day she was picking on me in the bathroom with her friends and she said she was gonna steal my boyfriend just because she can't and the next day, I woke up and saw her on a Snapchat story. I never felt more alone in my life. 
Guys, honestly, I feel for this girl so much. When I got cheated on by my ex-girlfriend, I was the lowest I've ever been in my entire life. So I can only begin to imagine how she feels, being so young and new to relationships. Then she said, Ever since I was a kid, she made it her mission to ruin my life, and I can't stand her. She's still mad at me for something I did in the first grade, and it's stupid. So I said, Yeah, that's really petty to be mad over something that happened that long ago. What did you even do? And she said, So I don't remember this, but apparently we were in art class, and I stole her crayons, and she found out somehow. I don't even know. It's so dumb. Which is a really bad reason to hold a grudge on somebody. I don't think I even remember the first grade, and if someone stole my crayons, in the first grade, I really wouldn't care. So then I said, yeah, that's a horrible reason to hate somebody. She said, right, but when I saw that post, I yelled at him and called him a cheater, and he said that it was my fault I wasn't as cute as she was, and that it was embarrassing to date me. So this guy sounds really toxic as well. For some reason, she just can't get away from all the toxic people in her life, and I feel really bad for this girl. So I asked her if they had Discord, and now I'm about to confront them. I just can't sit back and watch this happen, guys. They have to be stopped. So as soon as I joined the group chat, I called him out immediately and I said, Yo, at Logic and at Jade, you need to apologize to my friend Jen or I'm exposing you on YouTube. You guys are so toxic, to be honest, it's sad. And so I'm guessing the girl Jade is the one that's been harassing her lately. She said three laughing emojis and said, You think I care? And Logic just said, Apologize for what? Then Jade said, I'm just surprised she has friends. She's probably just salty I stole her from you. So I say, You must feel like you're so cool, don't you? Well, newsflash. You're not. Because, I mean, this girl's not cool whatsoever. Because this girl's just acting toxic, trying to rub it in her face. And that's when her ex-boyfriend said, Well, she was ugly anyways and had a horrible personality. And she said, Baby, get this clown. And he said, Sorry, just upgraded to a hotter girl. And that's when Jen said, I loved you. You told me you loved me. Honestly, this guy is too toxic. And he said, Well, I didn't love you. And she said, then why did you lie to me? You know I have a bad life. And he said, because I wanted a girlfriend and you were easy. And that's when Jade came out of nowhere and said, way too easy. She's the ugliest girl in school. I don't know why you dated her. And that's when he said, okay, babe, you don't have to go that far. You don't want to make that ugly girl cry now. And I just had enough at this point. I couldn't take it. So I said, yo, are you serious right now? Does talking down on other people really make you feel better about your life? You're toxic, dude. Say hey to YouTube, buddy. And Jade, she must have thought she was cool, so she said, Hey YouTube, I don't care if you have a YouTube channel, you're probably so irrelevant. Let me guess, you and your 5 subs are gonna be mad. But little does she know, I have 800,000 subscribers. So I don't know why she just assumed I had 5 subscribers, but <laughs> you thought wrong. He said, man, I don't care. So I said, you guys are pathetic, actually. And he said, no, this is pathetic. And that's when Jenny said, they won't listen. I'm leaving Boneless. I hate them so much. And I said, yeah, I'm out of here, too. I have to call this guy. I can't take this anymore. This is too toxic. Yo, hello? Hello? So you must think you're pretty cool cheating on a girl, huh? That's toxic, dude. Like, you should at least apologize to her. Like, what is wrong with you? Why? Um, oh, I apologize. because you broke her heart? She broke mine first. How? She cheated on me with my brother. No, she did not, dude. She loved you. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did, man. All right, fine. You caught me. Yeah. Bro, it doesn't even matter. Would you want to date long nose Nelly anyway? No, because I'm way older than her and I have a girlfriend already. But I don't even get why you guys call her long nose Nelly in the first place. It's really toxic. Because her nose is long, duh. But why did you date her in the first place if you didn't like her? It was a dare. My friends told me to do it, and then she got upset. she got kind of obsessed with me, and I didn't know what to do. I mean. You shouldn't have let her on in the first place, dude. And honestly, I have no respect for you whatsoever. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter. You can go sit at your loser table at lunch. I have, I'm so popular on TikTok. What are you going to yeah, do? Yeah, what about what? it? What? TikTok? How many followers do you even have? I have about like 20,000. Dude, that's not even popular. Like, I have 800,000 subscribers right now, and you're literally on my video. So I hope you say sorry before I expose whatever your TikTok is and let everyone know that you're actually toxic. Okay, what are they gonna do? And that's when she hit me back up on messages and she said, I told you they were toxic. 
but guys i really didn't expect it to be that bad like yeah i knew these people were gonna be pretty toxic but i didn't think they were actually gonna continue being toxic especially after me literally saying i was recording it i felt really bad that i couldn't do anything about it so i said yeah i'm sorry i couldn't do anything i feel really bad and she said no it's not your fault and i wanted to cheer up her day a little bit so i said do you want anything from the item shop and this girl's so nice she said you don't have to give me anything but I just wanted to give her something from the item shop because she told me already that her parents are really mean to her and she probably misses out on a lot of skins. So I said, I know, but I want to make it up to you somehow because clearly I couldn't help with this. They are just too toxic. And that's when she finally said, I did really want the Renegade Raider and I said, consider it done. And luckily she added me on Fortnite, so I was able to send it to her pretty easily. 